There are new efforts to bring the Chiefs over to the Kansas side. Leaders in Topeka say it's a game-changing opportunity. KNBC 9's Chris Cutts is here to explain all the moves made today. Chris. Well, it is a bold move coming out of Topeka tonight. Kansas Senate President Ty Masterson, House Speaker Dan Hawkins, sending a joint letter to Chiefs owner Lamar Hunt, uh, Clark Hunt, I should say, saying that state lawmakers are prepared to present the Chiefs with a compelling opportunity to jump the state line and build a new stadium in the Sunflower State, perhaps out by the Speedway in western Wyandotte County. As we have reported, the state plans to use star bonds, which could be paid off with sales and alcohol tax money from a designated area around the new stadium. It's what the state did to finance construction of the Kansas Speedway and the Legends Shopping and Entertainment District. And all of this is a new nonprofit is emerging. Scoop and Score is what it's called. The group featuring 20 lobbyists who all work the state capitol in Topeka, including former House Speaker Ron Reichman of Olathe. Maybe you were part of the text message blast that went out today, all part of an online petition drive aimed at lawmakers in Topeka, saying the Chiefs deserve a permanent home in Kansas. As the regular legislative session ended, lawmakers ran out of time last month to put together a package like this, but here it is now with a special session coming in a couple of weeks. It'll be June 18th to be exact, and don't forget, the Chiefs were on the Jackson County ballot April 2nd with an $800 million Arrowhead expansion on the table, yet voters said no to a sales tax to pay for it and a new downtown Royal Stadium.